Hello, this is Steve Myrowitz. Thanks for tuning in. The video will start in just a second. If you like it, please share it and be sure to subscribe so that you get the latest video announcements. Hello. I have, I have got my Fresh Life 1000 sprouter here. So the Fresh Life 1000 is a manual watering sprouter. In other words, you've got to do the watering. So uh, it's a wonderful unit. It's so easy to work and it's got, it can grow everything just as gorgeous and beautiful as the automatic sprouter. Except we're going to save a lot of money if we're willing to do the watering on our own. So let me just show you a little bit about how this works and what I've got growing here. So over here, I've got, you can see this, I'm going to, I'm going to um, show you right here, I've got some kale, right? So let's just see, it's right there, that's kale. And over here on this side, I've got some, that's, uh, that's broccoli. And if I turn it around again over there, I've got some alfalfa that I'm testing. And going to this side over here, I've got some fenugreek. So that's fenugreek. And we'll be uh, waiting for that fenugreek to finish growing. It takes a little longer than the other seeds. So it still has a lot of shells on the fenugreek right now. Now what fell off a minute ago uh, was the uh, bottom tray, which acts like a, uh, a holder. So you can actually see it creates a space for the roots to grow. Um, when, when there aren't tall roots, and let's just see how, how the roots look on the bottom of this right now. Those roots look you know, sort of tall, and they've got some length to them uh, there. You can see a little bit, especially you can see these right there. Uh, so there's some roots on there, um, and they come down a little bit lower. I like to use just a plate, um, and I put them on the plate like that, and uh, that's that works pretty nicely. So right now we've got a little plate there. And if you... Uh, put the inverted cover underneath, you've got even more room for the uh, roots to grow. So that's pretty nice uh, over there. Um, uh, with, uh, however, the cover is actually useful also uh, on top. Um, I don't actually need the cover right now because the sprouts are mature enough where they create their own umbrella and that protects them instead of the cover. And that's why I put the cover on the bottom. But initially I use the cover on the top because uh, we want to protect them while the sprouts are still growing. This is the seed tray uh, that I lay the seeds on. And you can actually see the seed tray at the very bottom uh, over here. That's the seed tray. And the uh, seeds have uh, four compartments. I actually used all four compartments here. So you can actually see, you know, the alfalfa, the broccoli, the fenugreek, and the um, kale. And so I used the four compartments here, about two tablespoons, two tablespoons, two tablespoons, and two tablespoons. If you are uh, worried that that's going to grow too much for you, you just use one tablespoon in each quadrant. Of course, if it is your first time, I do recommend uh, you start out with one flavor. So alfalfa all the way around and let's get used to uh, growing with the fresh life and have success with a single seed, and if you have success two times in a row, then I'd say you can graduate to multiple seeds. And of course, this can also be stacked so that you can have a second grower uh, on top of it. And you can do one of these things here. I'm borrowing, of course, this has tubes, so I'm borrowing from the Fresh Life automatic sprouter. But that's the difference. The automatic sprouter has spinners that order, order automatically for you. But you can certainly double stack this, that, is the Fresh Life 1000 hand watering sprouter 
very economical, and totally wonderful. That's all for today. Thanks for listening. Wonderful feeling, wonderful day.